Well, hello YouTube. I have decided to do an update-ish kind of video. Just showing you every single one of my RC projects on the channel. And what they plan to be. And cat. Kitty cat off -roaded. We will start with the first line and move our way that way. So this is... I'll put it up on the desk. There we go. Not really desk, but yes. This is the SCX-10 II. It's not keeping this body. This is just one I was making for it, but now I'm building it for someone else. Um, so yeah, it's only got the buggers on one side because I was testing it. Um, all the electrics are being installed out of this for something else soon, which you'll see. Um, but the plan for this is it's going to be a mud truck with this body on it. Obviously, it needs lengthening. Uh, not by much, actually, I don't think. Yeah, wheelbase a little bit. It's going to be a dedicated mud truck with the old T Rex 4 body because I'm getting a new one for it, which you will see when it arrives. Or when I acquire it, because I'm buying it off a mate. So this body will be going on this chassis with these big massive boggers. And it'll probably get a sensorless, brushless system. 30 quid off eBay. And then, yeah. It'll be the dedicated mud truck. Next truck. This is the next truck, the 116th Traxxas Summit, with no motor and a loosely placed in gearbox. And it's not keeping the summit body, because I have this body. This is off an RC that I tried to fix for someone, but I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, so. The body's going to go on this, and there's going to be a mini basher. So it can do cool jumps and stuff. Hello, Tabs. So yeah, that's this truck, the summit. This not sure on the electric system it's going to have yet. I haven't decided. So I don't know. It's got good suspension travel though. So it might be a way I can steal this for a different truck. We shall see. Next truck. This is my first RC and also my first cage build. It is an FTX Outback Ranger 2. And that's all that's left of it. This body is not staying on it. I'm making a better one to be more like the real truck. So yes, this is all that's being original on this truck. Nothing else, literally. So... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to say about this one. It's going to be getting a fully custom cage. The G-made tyres again. So it's going to be literally a miniature of the trailer that I drive. Next truck. Next, this is a very well-known truck on my channel. This is the... Um, Bobtail. <laughs> This originally started as the light blue with the white bonnet on the SX10 chassis, and then I bought this chassis, which is an MST. Um, I, I don't know what one it is, but it's the one that had the Jeep body. And then this body went on it, and then it got bobtailed, and it's been all sorts of colours, and now it's reached this stage. I've got the original grille, winch, covers on the lights. Bonnet screwed shut. Doors open. I've took the door tops off so it's easier to get in. Um, that's still not attached though. It's iconic with this truck is that always falls off. Um, it's got S OG SCX10 tyres at the moment, though these are not staying on it. It's going to be getting eventually some um, RC4 drive. I think they're RC4 drive. They're Wrangler tyres. Pretty sure what they're called. They're a good tread, they're very popular, and they seem to do everything. 
So that's what that's going to get. And obviously it's going to have Ross Dahls. So next truck. This is Jeff. It's changed color. <laughs> um, this is the second two door I bought on the S610 chassis. It's got a special gearbox in there. It's currently got a 12 turn. It has super bright headlights, but they're obviously the plugs there, so they're not in use at the moment. Now, Jeff has had some changes since you last saw it. Obviously, color change, as you can see. It's now van backed, except for that one. That one is clear. And that is because that's a bench seat kind of thing, but that goes down. Well, it doesn't, but it would do. And it's got a camper in the back. It's not perfect yet, it still needs a bit more stuff doing to it. I took it in the dirt yesterday, as you can tell by the mud in it. And it's also got some new shoes. It has the um, tyres that I bought off eBay for a tenner on some Ross Styles. Well, three Ross Styles and that wheel. But all the same tyre. So, the Ross Style. So yeah, this is Jeff. So yeah, there'll be some more videos on this soon. But I'm building this to be an overlander kind of truck. That's why it's got the roof rack, ball bar on the front. I do want to make my own my own front bumper and stuff, and then it's gonna have like side brush guards and then onto rock sliders. I plan. Don't know if it'll happen yet, but that's what I want to do. Next truck. The T-Rex 4, which is not keeping this body as we discussed earlier. Um, it's still getting a Defender body. You might remember from my Vlogtober, um, uh, my mate came over and he had the same body, T-Rex 4 and everything, and he had a canopy on the back. You don't tabs. Well, I've officially convinced him to sell me the body. So, yes. So what is this going to be getting? And then I'm also buying some tyres and stuff off him. So this is going to be getting the 12 turn again. No, not 12 turn. Um, 21 turn because this 27 turn has finally died. So this truck currently doesn't work. Yeah, it's going to be getting some smaller tyres. I might still run these on it, I'm not sure. Because these are nice tyres. Yes, it'll be getting lowered again, so it'll be lovely and low. With a very nice stick it up and canopy body, which will look awesome. Oh, I'm also getting his bumpers as well, and his winch. That is wobbly. That is not supposed to be that wobbly. <laughs> I think it's coming loose. Next truck. Now we are on to the chassis that I have going, well, working on. This is the Charisma chassis with the HBX suspension and the Summit gearbox because I sold the Summit, the big one. So and it's going to be called Frank because it's Frankenstein. So it's got the massive gearbox, a massive motor that has high and low range, independent suspension all round. It's going to be a Comp Safari motor, planning to. It's got quite a bit of suspension. i got to figure out shocks and stuff for it, yeah, and steering and everything. That's going to be complicated. It's just theory at the moment. Yeah, so it's got, it's going to have the massive gearbox at the summit. Um, HBX suspension and everything, diffs. And it's going to have a homemade body on it. I'm pretty sure that or I make I buy another Charisma Range Rover shell and make it a pickup and put a styrene cage in it or something I don't know I'll think of something I'm sure anyway next truck or chassis next is this which is a chassis I bought off Matthew as well I buy so many things off Matthew it is a cheap eBay leaf spring Land Rover chassis this is going to get a Series 3 body. 
made out of a Defender 90, chopped up in the front kind of thing, to make it look like a Series 3, hopefully, the plan to be anyway, see it'll be leaf sprung, motor in the front, um, full depth bed and everything, because it'll be a pickup, hi tabs, um, so yeah, nothing exciting by this, it's going to be pretty much a Trailfinder 2 on a Land Rover chassis, because it's going to have Trailfinder 2, suspension, axles, just not gearbox. You'll be getting a um, eBay gearbox. So, next chassis. Now, you might recognise what this is. This is a, well, cheap eBay, obviously, because I don't buy expensive stuff, because I'm a teenager, and cheap is better in my head. But um, it's a Galinda 2 chassis, pretty much, RC4 drive, but it's not RC4 drive, if that makes sense. It's knockoff. This is going to be super awesomely scale Mini Bob, because I'm making another one where it's going to have the hard body opening doors to match them. So that's, that's the plan for this. So it's going to have all the RC4 drive parts on it, hopefully, and it's going to be literally the most scale bob ever created and it's going to be awesome and now we have this original mini bob that i made which is going to really confuse you because that is a 90 chassis but it's not being a 90 but this is going to be a 90 but that's going to be bob because it's a landover chassis this is going to be called kitten it's going to be a killer body body Defender 90, and it's going to be pink. So yeah, there's going to be a build series on this very soon, because I've just ordered the body for it. So there'll be a whole build series on it, hopefully, making it look like a specific truck I have in mind. So, that's the end. It's starting to rain now. Oh, that's not very good. Um, yes, these are all of my current RC projects then. I think I have 10 of them, and I want more because I like remote control Land Rovers. And I have real ones to do and everything, I might do a video on them soon, but it's, there's no Range Rover there now. It's disappeared. But there'll be a video on that soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, this is a walkthrough of, or update on all of my RC projects I currently have on the go. Quite a few, I'd say. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.